Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the Detail Detective YouTube channel and today we're trying some new products uh, from the, a new range uh, from the Detailing Kitchen. So uh, one of the products that I'm trying today is called uh, Secret Ingredient and this is a ready to use and dilutable all purpose cleaner. So you can use it in two different ways. Um, you can use it as the product as it is or you can dilute it. So let's just go uh, onto the back of the label uh, and see sort of what this product's about um, and how we're gonna be using it. So it says, um, let's have a look. For, for all your, your car care recipe is lacking that one ingredient to bring everything together. And then it says, secret ingredient is a versatile, both ready to use and dilutable, all purpose cleaner, use on interior and exter uh, exterior surfaces. Ideal for plastics, wheel arches, engine bays and tyre walls. So today um, I've got this Fiesta behind me. I'm going to use it on uh, the rubbers. It's got some polish on the rubber so I'm going to see whether uh, it'll take that off as well. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'll clean the tyre walls up uh, in preparation for uh, the tyre dressing which we'll be reviewing in a few weeks as well. So let's see how um, we use this product and then we'll get on to uh, the two different parts of the car that we're going to test it on and then yeah we'll, we'll see how it um, performs so it says how to prepare for intense cleaning user supplied so that's one way of doing it uh, and then for in interior surfaces spray on a microfiber towel first and wipe over the required area and then it says product can be diluted 10 to 1 for uh, sensitive surfaces but do not allow to dry so we'll be using it neat uh, today uh, just because we want to see how well it performs especially cleaning these tyres up uh, and trying to get that polish off the rubbers as well see how well it cleans it up um, so yeah let's go ahead uh, we'll bring the camera in closer and then we'll uh, start putting this to work and seeing how we get on okay so the the first area that I'm going to concentrate on is uh, this rubber. I'll put a picture on the screen now of uh, sort of like what the state of the rubber is actually in. So it's got some polish uh, on here. So we're just gonna try and clean this rubber area up um, and yeah, see if it brings this off or not. And then after we've done that, we'll go on to um, the tires. So let's go and get a brush and then uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start using it. Okay, so I've just cleaned uh, the rubbers and plastics around the window. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, because I've rinsed that off, we'll move on to the tyres and then after we've um, washed the car fully and this is all dry, then we'll come back and we'll sort of review uh, whether it has cleaned it up or not. So let's uh, move the camera down onto the uh, tyres and then we'll see how uh, this performs down there. Okay, so before I start the tyres, uh, I'm just going to put a quick picture on so you can see how dirty the tyres are. So now what I'm going to do, spray this on the tyre walls and then I'm going to get a brush and uh, agitate it in um, and then yes, see how well it cleans up.
Okay, so you, you, you can see the dirt coming out the wheels, uh, out, out the tyres nicely. Um, it hasn't sort of like foamed up as much as other all purpose cleaners, but uh, it does look like it's bringing some dirt out. Also, another thing to mention uh, the smell isn't um, that strong, which is a good thing. So, with other all purpose cleaners like uh, G101, the smell can be quite strong, especially when you're using it neat. Um, so yeah, th this one's quite pleasant to use. So let's go ahead and rinse this off and see uh, what dirt has come out the tyres. Okay, so that's the tyres all rinsed off. Uh, they look clean, a lot cleaner already, uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll go away, wash the car, uh, I won't wash the other uh, tyres so you can sort of see uh, a clear comparison. Um, we'll wash the car, let the tyres dry and then yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what the difference is, whether they're any cleaner um, or whether they look the same, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll continue this video after we fully wash the car. <coughs> okay, so the, the car's all dry now and the tyres and the rubbers are all nice and dry. So what we're going to do now is I'm quickly going to uh, put a quick uh, a quick video of the tyres so uh, I'll put a quick video of the tyres that I haven't scrubbed with this all-purpose cleaner so as you can see uh, it's well it's very dirty uh, and it's sort of like a brownish uh, colour and now I'll flick to the clean tyre uh, and as you can see it is really clean uh, basically just a natural finish which is nice um, you can see that all the dirt's come out and it's perfect and dry um, for well, the application of the tyre dressing, which we'll do in a few weeks. Um, so, yeah, that that's uh, to come. We're recording this uh, that video after this one, so uh, hopefully uh, you'll see the the application of that and the effects of uh, that tyre dressing as well. But back to this product, the smell of the product it. it it isn't too strong, it's quite nice to work with. It's, it's still like a chemical smell, uh, but nowhere near as strong um, as, like I said in the, uh, in the video earlier, uh, your products like G101 when you're, using this, uh, when you're using it neat. The price of it is 9.99 for 500 mil. Um, and I don't think that's too bad, uh, seeing as you can dilute it. So, and there's three different ways to use this. You can use it in, in, on your interior, on your exterior um, and then you can dilute it for your sensitive areas as well so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, this product I haven't used uh, that much of the product uh, so I think it will go a long way w one thing to uh, note as well that the the branding on uh, these products are, are really good uh, really high quality uh, and I, I, I quite like the, um, the the logo as well so yeah uh, I'd, I'd definitely use this uh, product again uh, we've got a, a good handful of uh, these products uh, to try as well, which you, you'll see over the next coming weeks and months. Um, and then now, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go down to the uh, guys at the Detail Kitchen uh, because they've got an open day tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to show you around um, what they've got there. Maybe uh, get a few more products to try out, um, and yeah, s see what's going on down there. So uh, I'll flick to that footage now. And then, um, yeah, uh, cheers for watching and uh, enjoy the footage ahead. folks thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to youtube and add us on facebook instagram and twitter